Hi, my name is Dr. Najib Rahman. I'm an emergency medicine consultant here at Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust. We are a major trauma center, and that means we get a lot of patients that come in as victims of injuries and violence. And unfortunately, that also means we get a lot of young people, particularly within the ages of 11 to 25 year olds. Sometimes they're very seriously ill. They can have multiple stab wounds, needing blood transfusions, and potentially life-threatening injuries. Now we're at the cutting edge of managing those injuries, making sure they're stable, making sure they're getting admitted in the care they need to recover. But what we struggle with is what are the causes that lead them into violence in the first place? It's quite distressing with this group of patients when you think about the future and where they're going, what are they going to end up as as an adult? That's why we've got an a &E Youth Navigator Service. It's a fantastic initiative which allows youth workers to engage with some of these vulnerable young adults. The Navigator project is relatively new and it's fairly unique in the fact that it supports young people who've been victims of serious youth violence. Once we get a referral, we'll go and see a young person either in a &E or on one of the wards. We carry out an assessment with them to see if there's any additional support that they might need. This could include referrals out to services for sexual health, drug and alcohol abuse, mental health services, or if they've been a victim of serious youth violence, then we might refer them out to our community links partners who could support them around those issues. So when we see young people coming in with life-changing and life-threatening injuries, that's often just the tip of the iceberg. When we try to understand what drives young people into such circumstances, what is the trauma and adversity that they faced out there in poverty, in gangs, in other situations linked to addiction, abuse, self-neglect, all these drivers end up into a vicious circle and a vicious cycle of violence. It's a great opportunity to have our youth navigators engaging with these young people within the hospital setting when sometimes they're at their most vulnerable, but actually they're also most willing to listen and engage with why they ended up in hospital in the first place. We want to support young people to change direction and live longer, happier and more positive lives. Mm -hmm.